two-sided test. Um, in this particular recording, what we are going to do is that we are going to do the opposite example of what we did earlier, in which we did like one-sided t-test. This is an uh, this is an alternative hypothesis for a one-sided t-test. Uh, we wanted what we did earlier was that uh, we had this model y t equals to beta one plus beta two x two t plus u t, and we want to test whether this particular variable is significant or not. So how do we test for significance? Whether this is actually affecting model or not. In case if this model is not at all significant, then it means that parameter value should be equal to zero. Now we want to test whether this is significant, significantly different from zero. Now different could be greater than zero or less than zero. So in this case, your alternative hypothesis would be not equal to zero. That is beta two not equal to zero. We did the case in which beta two was greater than zero, and uh, we'll choose the level of significance at ninety five percent. Okay, and in this case, what you will do is that you want to find out whether the whether the calculated t is going to lie at the two ends of this tail, either two point five percent here or two point five percent here. So this is like since we have since we are covering for five percent and ninety five percent. So see, ninety five percent is this area. Ninety-five percent is this area. This area is ninety-five percent, huh? Ninety-five percent. This complete area from here to here. This area is two point five percent. This area is two point five percent. So, in case if the calculated value of t lies anywhere in these two areas, you will reject the null hypothesis, and you will go along with the alternative hypothesis that beta two is not equal to zero. Okay, so your test statistic, test statistic is t, which is beta two hat minus beta two upon standard error of beta two hat. Beta two hat is the value which you will get on regression. So supposedly, is beta two hat is standard error of beta two hat is this standard error is your standard deviation of beta two hat, and this you have already calculated in our earlier example, a one tail t test. So it is t will come out to be fourteen point five seven four. What is this beta two? Beta two is equal to zero. This is the hypothesized value of beta two here. Clear? So five point two six one minus zero upon zero point three six one, which will come out to be fourteen point five seven four. Uh, we have taken the earlier example only, where n is equal to 40. Since there are two parameters to be estimated, beta 1 and beta 2, so two degrees of freedom have gone, and you have 38 degrees of freedom which are left. So now you will find out the critical value of t. This is the t table for two-sided t test. This is the column, 95%. You will go along this column here. Okay. And you will check for thirty-eight degrees of freedom. Thirty-eight degrees of freedom will lie somewhere here. Till this point, this is two point zero four two. Okay, so critical value of t that is t star at zero point zero five by two, which is your alpha by two at. Uh, With with thirty eight degrees of freedom, okay, is actually equals to two point zero four two. Now decision rule is same. If T C is greater than T star, then you will reject the null hypothesis. What is the T C? T C is fourteen point five seven four is greater than two point zero four two. If it is like this, and which is true, so two point zero four two is somewhere lying here. Two point zero four two. And fourteen is somewhere lying here, so it is fourteen point five seven four. So it is lying in this region of of the curve, and hence this means that you reject the null hypothesis. You reject that beta two is equal to zero, and you conclude that beta two is significantly different from zero. This is an example of two-sided, a uh, two-tailed t-test.